for the past few days students have been frequently messaging me texting me asking about when will the nat exam be happening is it really on august 1st like that many questions students were keep on asking me uh, in this video we are going to discuss about what are all the changes council of architecture has brought into the examination previously they have said august 1st will be the examination but today they have given an announcement that the exam which was going to be happening in august 1st was postponed to august 29th it doesn't end up there there are a lot of other changes they have brought into the examination so let us see all the changes in brief in this video so let's get into the video the exam which was about to happen in august 1st was postponed to august 29th the examinations are going to be online there is no doubt in that but it is not going to be happening in the test centers allotted by the council of architecture instead you will be writing your examination from the comforts of your home for doing this you really need a laptop with a good internet connection and a web camera but for those students who doesn't have these kind of facilities council of architecture will be allotting a separate test center in each and every cities so those ca students can access those test center and uh, complete their examination so in nata examination you will be having two categories one is part a another one is part b in part a you will be having drawing part and in part b you will be having multiple choice questions regarding general aptitude and logical reasoning so as per the update given by council of architecture today there is no change in the part b but there are a lot of changes in part a because it is completely a drawing examination since you are going to attend this examination online you cannot attend the drawing question from home so they have made certain changes in the examination so instead of a drawing questions which carries 125 marks they have replaced with the another set of multiple choice questions which is completely different from the previous set of general aptitude and logical reasoning questions i'll explain you what are the syllabus and what kind of questions council of architecture has specified for this first is understanding importance of visual principle in 2d and 3d such as balance rhythm direction hierarchy etc so what does that it means is as a school students you will not be able to understand these kind of words these are technical words which are familiar to architecture students i will explain you in detail what kind of questions are there if you got into architecture college you will be studying the syllabus in the first year uh, there is a subject in first year which is called principles of architecture there you will be studying about these categories in detail so what they will be testing in this question is understanding the importance of visual principle in 2d and 3d composition so there will be image displayed in the right side uh, of this video regarding rhythm hierarchy and direction etc so the next one is understanding geometry and ability to visualize shape and to solve geometrical puzzle to test color scheme awareness and knowledge you will be given certain 3d geometrical shapes and you will be asked to find out the different angles of those shapes they will be testing your ability to find out the Uh, visualization of the geometry from uh, different directions so those kind of questions you will be receiving in this part and also they will be testing your color scheme related uh, knowledge so color scheme in the sense there are a lot of color schemes like complementary colors primary colors secondary tertiary uh, if you mix a uh, orange and yellow what kind of colors you will be getting or uh, they will be asking what kind of colors you get when you mix two complementary colors so these kind of questions you can expect in this part the third part is visual system interpretation perception to test graphical similarities and the other properties maybe they will be giving a certain a series of images and they will be asking you to find the similarities between those images the similarities may be in color or geometry or in the direction or the principle which i was specifying in the first part right so you will be having certain similarities between those images and you will be having four choice uh, where you have to find what is the similarities involved in this series of images you can expect these kind of questions in this part and the fourth part is ability to understand the spatial relationship between the objects so in this part i cannot explain you through words because it's purely related to architecture you will not understand the terminologies i use for explaining this question for this we have displayed a sample question to our right side if you see this question you can understand what kind of questions you can expect from this part so i'll move on to the next one so in this part they will be testing your cognitive ability your perception attention recognition memory etc the kind of questions you can expect from this part is they will be giving you a jumbled words or jumbled sentence which you need to arrange it in certain amount of time like you will be having some 4 to 5 seconds you have to find out the jumbled words or jumbled sentence 
sentence this kind of questions generally will be asked in software companies for their interviews that is the example question displayed on your right side if you see this question you can understand what kind of questions you can expect from this part so the examination is going to be online and you are going to attend this examination from your home for attending this from your home you might need certain stuffs which i will list out here first and priority thing is you need a perfect internet connection and the second thing is you will be definitely needing a laptop for attending this examination you cannot attend this from your mobile phone if you are having a laptop you will have a inbuilt web camera in that so you don't need to purchase a web camera additional but if you are planning to attend it from your system you will definitely need a web camera and then the fourth thing is you might be needing a headphones so if you don't have a headset with you arrange for the one so these are the must needed things for attending this examination from your home but if you don't have this setup in your home or you will not be able to arrange this kind of setup council has also given a solution for this they will be allotting a test center in your nearby cities you need to travel there and you have to attend this examination provided you have to maintain your safety and security by wearing mask and then hand sanitizers and also you have to maintain social distancing so these are the things you need to be definitely knowing regarding this examination for the online examination council of architecture will be providing you with the login details like the one you have for uh, your facebook instagram so follow the website of council of architecture and nata uh, frequently for uh, knowing other changes which might be coming in the future so from our point of view there are a lot of problems will be happening for if you conduct this examination online from home uh, because this is going to be the first examination after covid situation which is going to be conducted online it is very easy to conduct classes online through a lot of private platform but conducting a test like a, a national level examination through online is not recommended because there are a lot of other facilities which can be done like you can if you are using a computer you can connect it to two three monitors and some other person may may be attending the test which council will not be able to find out if a person is planning to do a malpractice in the examination there are a lot of possibilities which can be done in the examination i think council will also be thinking about all these possibilities and they will be coming up with a certain solution for this problem i'll be discussing about these principles of design and all the other new syllabus questions which are included in the nata nat latest nata update we will be making a separate video for this examination so we have been posting a lot of videos regarding this nata examination and the je paper 2 architecture examination for getting the updates about these videos kindly subscribe our channel and click on the notification bell icon we have a beautiful website in that we have updated a lot of stuffs for these preparations like uh, we have books mock test everything which are freely available for you in our website for using those study material kindly visit www.neram.co.in uh, there you will find a lot useful resource for preparation of this examination so i'll meet you guys in the next video uh, signing off architect hari from neram classes